20th Century Fox invites you to join the boys and girls of Sigma Phi for their annual New Year's Eve party. This year is a masquerade on wheels, and the person behind you could be your best friend or the last person you see on Earth. Experience the most terrifying ride of your life on the Terror Train, rated R. Starts October 3rd at a selected theater near you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 11 on the Video Rangers podcast. I'm Mike Spinaco. Sitting beside me is Chris Dietz. Say hello, Chris. Hello, Mike, and uh, here we are. This is uh, the 11th episode. We're in double digits. Yep. And um, Turn it to I'm 11. pretty excited. I'm a little <laughs> under the weather today. Hopefully my, my voice comes in still clear. <laughs> I feel I'm a little groggy. Well... You, you you look good. Ah, that's good. I have good yeah. complexion. Um, but I don't I don't know how you how you feel. I feel after like after the the ride we just went on. I, uh, I wasn't gonna drink, but you brought a cooler of beer, and I had one. I actually feel better after drinking. <laughs> yeah, figure that one out. Tends, tends to do that. But sure. Why not? So uh, what's the uh, what's the movie of the week? The movie of the week is. <laughs> Terror Train. Happy New Year. <laughs> he sounded like that that uh, Billy Crystal in uh, fucking uh, Princess Bride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terror Train. Terror Train with Jamie Lee Curtis. 1980. 1980. It's a 97 minute. The adventure. slasher. The slasher queen. Scream queen. Scream queen. She's Excuse the, me. She is Excuse the me. scream queen. How dare I? Dare you disrespect Jamie? In like theaters, that. January first, nineteen eighty. Is it January? See, I got another report that said October thirty third really? or something. See, this, yeah. On Rotten Tomatoes, that's Fucking what it's internet telling me. Is terrible. It's one or the other. Yeah. <laughs> you can't trust anybody on the internet. No, nah, goddamn internet! It's a bunch of phonies. Can't trust anybody on the internet. Can't can't even trust a can't, magician. You can't believe everything he's doing. Reading. A show can't. on a train. Yes, good old David Copperfield is in the movie. Yeah, looking. Uh, he's a young man, spry. Still looks weird. He's a creep. Fucking Still creepy. a creep. That guy is so fucking creepy, man. He is. His haircut, his eyes, everything about him. Well, is you creepy. know, he was accused of uh, like f- you know fondling girls and bringing really? bring them to his magic island. Like magic, <laughs> did he really island. have a magic island? He's got some kind of some kind of uh, I don't far away, beautiful land where he he, he resides. Maybe it's like a he's like a villain. <laughs> he lives, beautiful land where I bet he lives in the side of a he mountain. Takes he lives in the side of a mountain. <laughs> he's a secret villain. Well, apparently he brought he bring women back to like I don't know. I guess I guess like this vacation place. I don't know. I got the. I'm going off the top of my head. This is what I loosely remember from seven, eight years ago. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we aren't sued. But he, yeah, there was women accusing him of... Uh, well, he had some stuff up his sleeve. Basically. Yes. I, I'd imagine he was the kid with the fedora on in high school. <laughs> he looks really cool. You know, he knows magic. Well, who doesn't like a little little card trick here and there? I don't like, I don't like magic. Yeah, you don't like magic. That's stupid. I love magic. They're so arrogant. <laughs> They're so arrogant. Them, how dare they take my dollar well, and rip like, it up? Like David Blaine, he always has this like deadpan face on, and it's like, so here's your quarter. Uh, 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 oh, I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, like, all right, like go fuck yourself. All right. <laughs> so Terror Train, 1980, okay. starring Jamie Lee Curtis and Ben Johnson of the Wild Bunch. Uh, wow. Plot of this uh, fantastic film is a masked killer targets six college students responsible for a prank gone wrong three years earlier and who are currently throwing a New Year's Eve costume party aboard a moving train. Three years later. Three years later. It's a pretty cool party. I think the party's cool. I think the train idea is cool. Pretty much where it loses me after that, but um, <clears throat> I, th- I find it funny that Jamie Lee Curtis uh, is on a New Year's train ride. Oh, certainly, and she's also in a New Year's train ride and trading places. Yes. Funny thing about Terror Train, they never—it's never midnight. Is all this happened before midnight? Yeah. There was never a countdown. Nothing. It's supposed to be New Year's Eve. Yeah. 
little what lackluster. happened? Yeah. It, it just wouldn't like, it have been kind of cool if it was a countdown and someone died at the yeah, countdown. Exactly. Yeah. Like maybe the the one guy who just magically who dies out of nowhere. Oh and, yeah. And the crowd, like he's in the crowd and he looks like he's sleeping, and then he's, like his friend finds him dead. That would have been, been a good time to kill to do that. Yeah, they were so focused no count- on this they David Copperfield guy. Completely forgot that it was New Year's Eve. No, there was too much magic going on. <laughs> it's a lot of magic. Going the ball on. never dropped. A lot of magic. So uh, this film was, uh, the tagline for this movie is, the boys and girls of Sigma Pi, some will live and some will die. There's another. There's another. There's more. The There's a few more. There's a one. I thought that was the dumbest. All aboard, if you dare. I know. And there's a third one, too. Is there's it? a third one? Yeah. Don't watch this movie. I think it's like the, Ride oh, If You no. Dare or some shit like that. It's it's a little boring. Yeah, not... The, not beginning, the, the beginning is a little boring. Not the best Jamie Lee Curtis uh, if you like, movie. Yeah, it's... It's she, about as... Energy. She was just putting these out, like, back to back at this at this time. She's a screen queen. So she was a hot uh, commodity for... Uh, horror movie I yeah. guess slasher movies well she's in Terror Train she's in The Fog she's in Halloween 1 and 2 yeah all Pro- night, uh, Prom Night five or six years yeah and that's basically how Carrie? she became she's in Carrie she, no, right? that, that's, no um, she's not in Carrie never mind what's her name the other chick Prom I'm getting John Prom, Travolta's getting in prom, Carrie she's in Prom Queen yes I'm getting that mixed up with Carrie yep Prom Queen I haven't watched that in a while. Um, so what's going on here, basically, is... Uh, so they pull a prank. It's the yeah, start of the prank movie. Prank goes wrong, as it always does. Well, yeah, the kid freaks the fuck out. Yeah. This is up there with, like, <laughs> freaks Toxic the fuck Avenger out. fucked up. Like, you know... Well, what are they... What, what was the prank they did in Slaughter High? Like, um, can you remember? They basically, like, put him in a shower with a chick, and, like, fucking... The whole school saw him naked. Remember oh, okay. we see his man bush? Well, yeah, because this is kind of one of those um, revenge after you've done, you've wronged me, and I'll get you back. You yes. Kind of like, oh, I know what you did last summer. The same kind of idea. Yeah. Um, now, it takes a little while for our cast to come to the conclusion that it who, possibly... Who it is. Yes. Till, well, because in the beginning of the movie, since we basically s- summarized a little bit, um, they are having a... New Year's Eve frat party in the opening scene. And yeah, there's all these pledges there. And mm-hmm. there's one guy that's like a little dorky and they're talking to him about how he's got to get laid. And they set it up for him to hook up with Jamie Lee Curtis's yes. character. So he follows her and it's dark and there's like like one of those beds with the fucking silk around yeah, it's it. it's very or, dark and misty. Yeah. Like, like a dream sequence almost. So he ends up getting into he bed with in, this chick. He's in his underwear. She, yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis is in the background. She whispers, kiss me. Yeah, and he then takes he, his glasses off, right? And he kisses so. this fucking... Ends up kissing a uh, dead body. A corpse. A corpse. That was falling apart. Because these students are pre-med and they have access yes. to corpses. Our, yes, these well, are all pre-med students, so... Yes. Who apparently have zero and, integrity. And the woman was falling apart, apparently. Like, her arms fell off. Mm-hmm. Which I, I think kind of does happen when you're dead. Yeah. It can, things can fall off. Well, they said they ended up getting a woman that was so like, you had this, like, apart. So, middle-aged, naked corpse woman. Gross. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of The Shining of uh, 237, room 237. Yeah. Is that We're not movie? actually sure. That might have been a real gross. corpse. Like the gross... We <clears throat> don't know what the rules are in 1980. The gross woman in yeah. The Shining. Something along those lines. It's not as bad, but close. Brought up. That's what it brought my memory to. Yeah. Uh, total freak out. Um, he just starts spinning. Like Wonder Woman, kinda. Yeah. And there's like drapes over the bed. And yep. He just gets caught up in them, and he's just spinning and spinning and spinning. And it's a little silly. And then he just like apparently went to some mental hospital after that. Kiss me, Kenny. Kiss me. Uh, 
you think if they're pre-med students, he'd be used to a dead body. I mean, he didn't, like, actually... It would have been worse if he actually fucked it and then found out it was a dumb. The only that would have been interesting. The only thing I was confused about And that's was... worth a freak out. Yeah. Because, I mean, oh, dead body, and it's gross. It's yeah. it. But you are med students. You yeah. deal with blood and guts up to your fucking knees. Yeah, but you know, how many people have, like... <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> We were both <laughs> knee deep in all that blood and guts. Okay, we gotta yeah. get that. I gotta, we gotta get those out of our system sometimes. Mm. Uh, so anyway, you think you'd kind of be used to that shit? Nothing would freak you out. Yeah, almost like like I said. But he didn't he make out with the it. corpse. It would have been fucking hilarious. Yeah. Well, for me, the idea is awful. Yeah. But I would have laughed. Well, you I know, still laugh. He said he did all the work. You know, <laughs> <laughs> one after another. Yeah. Hopefully our audience, if you're listening to this, you should get these. But anyway, going forward. Our audience is a lot smarter than we are, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're wise so, enough to know, hey, I haven't heard of this Jamie Lee Curtis movie. I'm not going to watch it. No, it's, it's worth a watch. The good folks at movie. Shout Factory put this out. So, okay. And then it basically goes up to three years later. Yes. Uh but it's New same Year's night, Eve. three years later. New Year's Eve. Is it the same uh, night? Yeah, New Year's Eve. Okay. I didn't know it was the same night. Yep. And they're going to have this big well, party. Well, Wikipedia it's, told it's, me. It's now the people who pulled this prank. It's their senior year. And uh, the train is like a nice little party mid-semester, I guess. Yep. Um, They're all dressed in creepy-ass costumes, most yes, of them. Yes, it's a There's costume There's creepy party, masks, yeah. which... Which again brings me to trading places. Everyone dresses up at a yeah. Like, doesn't this like the time of your life? A costume party, New Year's Eve party. Sounds like a good time. Doesn't like a good time. And you're like, like twenty. It's not Halloween, and it's a costume party. Yeah. That never happens. I've never been to one. That'd be awesome. And like, it's and, 1980. It's fucking weed and cocaine everywhere. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but it sounds like a good time. Yeah. Everyone apparently is like journeys having, climbing a lot up of the people charts. Are having sex in the movie. In the little booths, because they kind of people peek in and, the, and like, yeah. oh, get out of here. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of that. <laughs> there's a lot of hanky panky going on. You know, there's only one, well, two titty scenes because there is um, the corpse is naked. So yes. there's that. Yeah, a little lackluster on the boobs. Could have, you know, when in doubt, add more boobs. Oh, and here's a here's a fun fact. Um, there was an actress who played the corpse. Yes, I saw her name in the scroll down. We didn't think so, it was a real person. But there was so uh, so so so. Unless she um, was just the mole. Margaret. So how how'd your movie go? Like, oh, I was a prop of a dead body for a prank in a movie. I played a corpse. No. <laughs> Do you know that I was the first movie prop in thirty three years? I played a corpse in my first movie role. Mm. I remember just said int- and introducing <laughs> as the corpse. Yes. And that's kids that's is terrible. the story of my career. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Grandma, she was a corpse in a shitty old 80s movie. <laughs> After that, I tell, I'd spent... tell that story every Christmas. <laughs> I also got drunk at another party that year and went down on Lucille Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice woman. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> um, so what happens next? Who's the first to die? Well, it's a good thing I made a list. Good thing you made a list. Because I did. I don't remember. All right. The first guy to die was Ed on the platform. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was dressed as one of the Mars brothers. Yes. Yep. He doesn't even get on the train. No, he doesn't even get to have a fucking beer he on gets the train. Dabbed with a big sword. He was a practical joker. And rolled under the yeah, he's the he's the cl- uh, class clown and he gets rolled under the train and he just like takes his costume or murderer. Gets on the train. Yep. Meanwhile, uh, you see... We were also introduced to David Copperfield, You see though, David Copperfield... Right before that. And he looks loading suspicious. Up his, loading up... Uh, looking creepy as ever. Loading up his... Um, all his gear. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> well, p- prior to this, uh, that fucking jokester Ed has played a prank on somebody. Or he's telling jokes... And then when he shows up, like, again, he's got the sword in him, and everybody thinks it's a big fucking yes, joke. Yes, that's how he dies. He gets that's stabbed how he dies. With the sword, yes. Everybody thinks he's kidding. And he falls under the train. Train pulls away. Pushes him under the train. But yeah, well. It doesn't matter. He's gone. He's dead. He's no longer on the platform. His, his... <laughs> yeah. So the train can pull away. 
Ben Johnson made sure it was clear. That's how it happened. Yeah, the conductor didn't do So it now job. we are on our on our way to Disneyland and somewhere. Yeah. Apparently where we're going there are no towns. No towns that you for 10 no, hours apparently. You know, drive through. No, yeah, nothing. The train doesn't go through any towns. Yeah. Oh, and just for good measure, we decided to not ha- fit this train with a radio. Yes, uh, of course. A little exposition. We oh, oh. When are they gonna put a radio in this old train? I've it, been it, at it, it for it two is an years. Older train, but it's really just the thing. It's that's a coal pull, train. It's pulling the train. Yeah. yeah, it's a coal train. Yeah. You can't have a radio like a CB radio. They can't yeah. afford like fifty dollars for a radio. <laughs> no, they had. See, what happened Something. was. They the realized how house. stupid the movie was, and they had to remove well, the radio. Otherwise, this movie would have been over in five minutes. That's what's going to happen. Is what happened. In future movies, when your your cell phone breaks, or we have yeah. no service, that will be the new thing. Yeah, which I think future movies Those, will not take place in the future. They will take place be in about, the 80s. They will all be about the past. So yes, because we can get around all this shit. Because you could always fix something with just call yeah. a cell phone oh, away. Oh, it's 1975. There are no cell phones. Yes. <laughs> and that's how he died at the bottom of the well. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we oh no, fun. he fell and broke his cell phone. He will never be oh. okay. Oh, now he can't call for help. We we'll make sure we put that, you know, scene in there. It's an interesting problem. They, new films have to deal with. Yep, when it's a problem. You have to get rid of the cell phone somehow. I love how we're gonna get to the point one day where he would have called for help, but he had been texting his whole life and didn't know how to scream. <laughs> but that's <laughs> gonna be like every movie you see. It's new. It's gonna be like the cell phone falls out of his pocket. It gets crushed by something in his pocket yep. you know what i mean oh there's no service like that's going yep. to be every movie yep going forward pretty much the new lethal there's always weapon a problem a conflict. To do with that like oh we could just call for help <laughs> yeah because honestly die hard would have been over pretty fucking quick and then they ended up doing a die hard that had technology in it mm. they yeah, did they did it wasn't very good honestly it's a lot better than the last the the good day oh, the, the Russian hard. one that one is dreadful. i haven't seen it all of a sudden, he's James it. Bond. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Back to Terror Train. <laughs> Getting away from Terror Train. Getting away Moving from Terror on. Train as far <clears throat> as we can from Terror Train. Great name. Yes. So, we, as this is, we've all been, we've been introduced to all the characters now. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, the cover of the movie gave away the deaths. Yeah, pretty the, immediately. The, almost the order, the order too. Yeah, of like the main, the main deaths, I guess. And he does yeah. kill some people in between, but yes, uh, you are well aware that Jamie Lee Curtis's character is certainly not okay with the prank that went down. I don't think she no. really knew what it was going to be. It didn't didn't seem like it. Um, she, she's not cool with it. No. She hates the main guy who pulled the prank. Oh, uh, Doc is like the biggest. Dick. The guy. He's just that He's dick. He's your, you know, cliche, generic dick, dick. dickhead guy. Yeah, asshole. Yep. <laughs> and but the party is underway. Everybody's getting shit faced. And next up on the chopping block is Jackson. Jackson dies in the He's bathroom. In, uh, snake outfit. Yep. And he is killed by what he who he thinks is Ed because the guy is now dressed, dressed up. Yes, he's dressed in, as the Marx Brothers still, so yeah. he thinks he's talking to him. And very clever. Now Jackson looks absolutely smashed by this point, and is he, he? Yeah, he looks shit. He was the way he was talking. He seemed like he so. was fucked up. Um, and he's like, "Hey, I got the good stuff," and he that takes him to the sense bathroom. Of what what happened? Yeah, because he because gets the shit kicked out of him. Yeah, and it's like, how did he do that? Yeah, he's a little nerdy kid, especially when you see, <laughs> yeah. Nuts. Well, we just gave away the ending. <laughs> they figured it out. Most people have seen it. Uh, and then blood um, everywhere. That's pretty smashes much Smashes him against the mirror. Yep. And he's dead. I don't, I think Sticks like it. a bottle up his mouth, too. Well, because it's part of the um, yeah. his plan. Yeah. Sticks the bottle up his mouth. And so it, the alcohol he, smell it would indicate that somebody's in there sick. So the conductor eventually finds him. And there's blood everywhere. Uh, he leaves. I forget why he leaves. To get someone to tell Well, someone. he doesn't want to create a panic. Yes. So okay. he locks he it back up. Back, yeah. There's no blood anymore in the guy. Zero. And it's now it's our killer dressed as Jackson. Doesn't Yeah. Doesn't you think he'd rip his mask off? Like he just had blood on him. Like what the fuck? What you know, like Yeah. What happened here? Yeah, he's almost like he didn't want to touch the body. But he did touch the blood. 
just to make sure it was real. Yes. He, he touched he his, like, his mask and he got more blood on his hand. Yeah. <clears throat> He's looking at it, rolling it in his fingers like, this is real blood. <laughs> I know real blood when I see it. And Jackson's gone and we had to call his mother and had to say, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Yes. All right, we did that joke. Yep. Yep. We did that joke off camera. It worked a lot better. It was funnier when Mike said it. Yes. <laughs> <That's> laughing. <laughs> A lot funnier the first time. So Ed, Jackson, and Mitchie, all dead. Never going to make it to midnight. New Year's Eve is yeah, ruined. Mitch, well, you find Mitchie's next. That's the uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis's well, girlfriend. Yes. Mit- now he's dressed as Jackson. Well, also, they're... you've got fucking Jamie Lee Curtis has a boyfriend who yeah. is... They've been fighting this whole time be over On this stupid fucking party because yeah. she doesn't really want to be at any party that is thrown by the guy that originally My did doc. this trank. This prank. Yeah. I don't know what a trank is. Uh, and so he ends up like hooking up with like two other girls or they, they go off with two other girls, him and Doc. Mo and yeah. Doc go off. Guys, you should have seen that magician. He was fantastic. Puff, just like that, the woman was gone. I think he knows how to make one come. <laughs> I hate magic. It's just tricks. Come on, you love tricks. I love jokes. You're just pissed off because you can't figure it out. <laughs> These girls look faint. Can we do anything to revive them? I don't know, maybe some kind of injection? You girls better come back to the consulting room with us. We may have to do an exploratory. Yeah, you sure you guys have had any experience? Experience? Us? Oh, come on. Tell them, Doc. We got experience. Mo and I worked in an emergency gynecological mm-hmm. ward last summer. Really? Yeah, that's right. Doc won an award. Best pass from in a supporting role. Come on. Doc. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis's friend Mitch sees it, sees that. and she ends up getting pretty wasted. She doesn't tell her friend. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she, Jamie Lee Curtis has no idea. Yeah, actually. no idea that this is going on. And she's walking down the train car hall, and she's like pretty fucked up. And as this is going on, the fucking conductor has brought back uh, another guy to check out this dead body, who yeah, all of a sudden ja- is alive. Is alive, and, and there's no more blood. Playing, playing drunk. Like you can clean up blood that fucking fast. I mean, this bathroom look immaculate. Yeah, you, know? um, you think you'd just be bleeding? Pr- pr- the yeah. body would have been bleeding the whole time. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it does, you know, whatever. The movie, you would assume. The movie ignores it. He cleans it up. It looks like spotless. Um, well, he finds bloody paper towels later in the in the garbage, I think. He does. So anyway, uh, Mitchie and uh, Jackson go off. Well, it's not Jackson. Well, fake yeah. Jackson. And She decides she's going to hook up They're going to hook Jackson. up, and, and uh, Jackson... The, our killer murders her. Yep. Fair enough. Oh, he, first he puts a Jackson's dead hand on her. Yes. Which like the fooler, like huge. Touch, oh, your hands are body so cold. part obsession on your this. Your hand is so cold. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say? Cold hands, warm heart. Yes. I guess they do say that. Yeah. But I don't know in what part of country they're saying this in. But they're saying. But it. it's the part of the country where it takes ten hours before you see a house. More or less. Insane. So now we've got Ed, Jackson, Mitchie, all dead. Next up, in the middle of the fucking magic show. Yes, we remember David Copperfield performing his magic yes. show. David Copperfield's the best magician this side of He's performing Montana. like real magic. He's just disappearing on one side of the train. Oh, yeah, like <laughs> legit magic. Like, like he's just actually magic. Yeah, like he's from Attorney of Magic. He's been hanging out with Orko the whole time. There's one part where he's like, oh, I gotta bring my... Um, my my assistant back. So he's in the middle. He's not on the stage anymore. And he's in the middle of the, all the kids watching. So there's kids in front of him and there's kids behind him. And he lifts up the little, you know, like uh, the sheet. So people behind him can see what's going on and they drop it. And then it's, he's gone. And the assistant's there. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like they saw what happened. What are, did, did you really just disappear? Like, what the hell happened? Like, half the audience saw what you did. If it was yeah, a real magic trick. That was a little <laughs> insane because, all right, I buy that the front part of the audience didn't get to see it, but everybody yes. that was staring at his fucking ass the whole time, it's so only like he had a happened? second curtain behind him or it, something. Yeah. I don't think so. Like, listen, Dave. It didn't look like it. We know it you're good. It wasn't like a circular. 
You're not curtain that good. from like Karate Kid costume, yeah. like the shower costume. <laughs> anyway, so that yeah. happens. I'm Come scratching. On. I'm scratching my head. What's going on? Um. So David Copperfield's still creepy. Yes, he's the. He's got like yeah. he's got helmet hair. It's like just what the fuck. Like it looks like a GI Joe hair. Yeah, and his giant collar. Like the little GI Joe's hair. Disco balls. This is still very much the disco era in this it fucking is. film. It is. It's a film. God damn it. It's a film. It's a, it's a damn film. <laughs> it's a film. Uh, so David Copperfield takes a break, comes back, does a second magic show. By this time, it's very clear that Doc is a complete fucking asshole, and Mo is. We don't know why he's friends with him, but he's friends with him. He's ragging on the magic yeah. show. Fine. Ragging on the magic show. He tries to fuck up his relationship, Mo's relationship with every chance he gets. Because obviously he has some kind of crush yes. on Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, and Mo confronts him during this magic show. And like they're sitting there while fucking Dave is doing his thing. And all of a sudden, Mo slouched over and he's Yeah, somewhere while dead. they're watching it, he looks yeah. like... I think they make snoring noises because was it? I think Doc was was he's sitting, they're both sitting there and I think he he starts like they start pretending to fall asleep yeah. and be loud about it like yeah. it's boring and then he goes to get his friend and he's just like dead yeah he, like dead somehow and so, somewhere in between David Copperfield went from the stage to behind them like disappeared and came back so like oh maybe. The magician's a murderer or something. Yeah. I don't know. We're at this point you're thinking like the only person capable of doing this It seems that way. Has to be the magician. <laughs> and at this point you're pretty furious because you're like, God damn you movie, you gave the killer away Im- immediately. But yeah. we still have more deaths. We move on. We we move Pushing on. Pushing forward. <laughs> now, at some point, the guys that are shoveling the coal die. Yes. Uh there are oh there's two there's a conductor. And then there's like the coal shoveler conductors. Yeah. I, don't, yes. I don't know what they're called. Now, Ben Johnson is playing <laughs> and uh, the train just, conductor, Charlie, I think. Yes, the main, yeah. like the, yes, the main character, I guess. Yeah, the, he's boring as fuck. All the, all Love the his scenes voice, with though. the train Love guys, they go a little too long and they're kind of just. Yeah, I mean, they're talking about the. The energy crisis. The energy crisis. It's 1980. Like, yeah. And it's just like, what's going on here? Just One guy's like, listen, enough. we're going to have to get... Have you seen the price of gasoline? We're yeah. going to have to get back to the rail at some point. Mm-hmm. And then you got Ben Johnson like, well, you tell me this. When's the last time you've seen a shopping mall built next to a train station? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's a oh, lie. drop the mic. Yeah, yeah, right. Right there. <clears throat> but... <laughs> All right, what happens next? I don't even know. Well, that's well, we just wanted to clarify yes. that the cold yeah. guys cold are guys dead. dead. Trains still lots running train, really lots smooth. Lots of train personnel die throughout the movie. Yeah. Now, at this point, Jamie Lee Curtis has been shown that her friend Mitch is now dead. Yeah, so she's very upset. Yes, obviously. Um, Fast forward past that. The train is now finally. We've decided. Hey, we're gonna do something gonna about stop. this. Let's stop the train, which we both agree makes no and this fucking is when sense. The, this is when the con- the coal people are dead because he tells them to stop it, and because on the phone, he finds out they're gone or they're missing, whatever. Yeah, he stops the train. They all get out, uh, do a head count, I guess, and then now everyone knows there's some kind of murderer on the train. Yeah, they're going through the passenger um, manifest, <laughs> just like in Lost. Uh, yeah. Um, and so everybody is outside this train now. Uh, and by this time, Jamie Lee Curtis really is suspecting that this might be Kenny Hampson from the beginning of the movie, the kid that they play the trick on. Yes. She also, I don't know if this quite happens yet, but at some point she remembers that Kenny was really into magic. No, they see it in the yearbook. She, goes, yes. she tells Doc yes. this, and Doc, her and Doc, Doc decide, busts out the yearbook, and Kenny yeah. had a page, I guess, about magic. Yes. Now, our magician is also named Kenny. Yes. And so she thinks, they start thinking that the magician is Kenny. It's got to be Kenny. But it's like, wait, he doesn't look like Kenny. You guys, yeah. Don't you guys know what Kenny looks like? So Doc and Jamie Lee Curtis decide that it she is... She goes a, to tell the conductor yeah. who she thinks it is. Yes. 
and they decide that, hey, you know, fuck what uh, Colonel Mustard says. Strength in numbers does not matter. <laughs> and we're going to go hide in this fucking train car in the back. Fire Doc is now... The wheels are off the train at this point, and he's just completely fucking just like, fuck it, every man for himself. Yeah. She fucking bails on him. Uh-huh. She's uh, angry. She don't like him anyway. Yeah, which is fine. Uh, And he's, Doc is like freaking out. He's checking like every fucking door right. that's in the fucking room. Um, And then eventually a fucking hand clutches his shoulder. It looks like a woman's hand. So he assumes that it's fucking Mitchie, who was his Mitchie. girlfriend. Uh, and then his throat is cut. No more Doc. <sighs> He's dead. Um, Out of here. His head's cut off, actually. And they find him. You know, really? They got the head clean off? He opens, the, opens like a bed. Yeah. His body comes rolling, and him dropping out, and then the head comes rolling. <laughs> Man. And it looks... So he, it he it didn't stuff. look good. It looked no. like shit. But anyway. Um... <clears throat> Now, at this point, she has run, I believe, back to the conductor. Uh-huh. Right? That's basically what Everyone's happens. in one compartment of the train. The train yeah. is moving again. Oh, yeah. Because now everybody decides, and hey, we're going to get back on, but we'll stay in one car. The conductor now goes and gets the magician to go. Yeah. To go everyone be in the again, same car. Again, the train gets, stopping makes no sense. And he, he, he only finds the magician's Can't radio assistant. for fucking help. He finds the magician's assistant, the woman. She comes with him, and then he goes back to get Ke- the magician, and there's no one there, or I don't know yeah. if he even goes back there and looks. Because Jamie yelled. says, I think it's the magician. It's the anyway, magician. they don't ever look behind the curtain, or, you know, nothing happens of it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember what happens next. I'm not positive. Well, the when they go look for it, uh, the, when they go to see him or whatever... Uh, the, uh, his assistant, the woman assistant comes out and she's like, yeah, he's back there, you know, yeah. and like fucking, they were like, Hey, come with us, get coffee. Yes. You know, they want to get her away from this fucking lunatic. Uh, he never comes out. I think they do pop their head back there, but they don't see him. He's not there. Yeah. Um, he's not back there. So by this point, the head porter is taking Jamie Lee Curtis to like a private room where she could uh-huh. be by herself. Um, and the conductor goes to back to find her and that's when he finds the head porter dead yes yeah no, oh she actually she had a guard she, the, one of the yeah. porters in the train yeah. was guarding her room he's porter dead. house he's, he, this is fine leather yeah. he's got a sword <laughs> through him <laughs> um he's <laughs> dead <laughs> <sighs> oh, when in doubt when the show's sinking quote caddyshack yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there go ourselves right out of it. Um, so now our killer is wearing Doc's uh, monk robe, and he's got a hideous mask. Um, and there's a confrontation with her. Is this now he finds her? Uh, she oh she sets up a yes. little trap. She there's a yes. Uh, she uh, suspects uh, that this thing is coming after she's her. She's coming, so she hides in another room, but she has um, a blow up doll. Dressed up like she's like she's sleeping. So now the person, the car killer, comes in and uh, hits it, stabs it or whatever. And then she comes out of the room next to it and stabs our killer in the back with a sword. Yeah, she does. And that's run, fucking and Jamie Lee away. Curtis. So she does. Apparently, she. I mean, I mean, where'd she get out of this? Where, where'd she run to? She runs. If you run, the office if car. She runs back to the tr- you know the office or whatever it is. There's no one there. All the people are to the. This, why didn't she go towards the people? You know what I'm saying? So now uh, she goes in there and the killer follows. And it's all, well, it's by, her first all time by themselves. The um, there's some fighting going forward. Uh, she gets away from them. She locks herself in another like little lock room, like like like, yeah. like fencing. And she you know, she locks the door. And it's funny because he can't get in. He's banging on the shit, and he finds like a giant, like some kind of like train, metal train rod. crowbar. And he's poking through it. He still can't get her. And she finds like something you put, you hang notes on, like some kind of needle thing. You put like your things to remember later. Stabs him. Right in the cheek. Then Left she, cheek. This is the best part. She kicks the door open that's locked. Like kicks the door. Like why didn't the killer do that? Why did he think to kick the fucking door off the fucking hinges? Because that's, that's what she did. Because he's a magic expert. Yeah. 
Apparently. And he hasn't taken his Houdini so, class yet. All right, so then she's running for the door, and they're between cars where you're outside. You're actually yeah. outside, and they're struggling, and she kicks him off the train. Right? She punt, you know, somehow she gets him oh, off the no, train. Oh, no, no. That, Aren't that, they fighting right the, there? Yeah, but there's a little bit more to that. All right. Um, because she stabs him. And in the face. In the face. With the note, um, some needle thing. And then That's she when leaves to... She kicks... The, yeah, then she oh, leaves man. the room. Fuck, there's a lot more to this, though. We're I don't remember. like a whole section. Are here. we? Yeah. Wow. Um, at some point, she meet, She goes to find the conductor, and he's, he's like, dead. Or he's not moving, and she's, like, sitting at that table. Mm. And then the hands grab her. No, and that's then later. They, but that's basically after the porter she dies. She goes off the train. She kicks him off the train, and she thinks it's oh, over. Oh, yeah. She's all bloody. That part. She's all bloody. That's what up. you mean, yes. Okay. And then they think he's gone. Yeah. He, when she kicks him off the train. He, that's it. He's not off the train. He's still yeah. hanging on. Yeah. So now she's just all, she's like sleeping and comfortable. Yeah. And she goes to look for the conductor. She wakes up and goes to look for the conductor because she figures, because she, oh, no, she finds a magician. Yeah. The magician is in the sword box. The sword box stabbed with like 10 swords. Dead as a door now. David Copperfield's dead and everyone rejoiced. Yes. Because nobody liked him. So now she's freaked out and then she goes to look for the conductor. That's true. And he's just Apologize. like the conductor sitting at a table like this, like Not that. The conductor, it's yep, our killer. Not the conductor. Grabs her hands, and they're sitting at the table. Yep, conversing. It's the real Kenny. The not real the other Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> Apparently, we were fooled. Kenny is not the magician. Kenny is dressed as the magician's assistant, which we the really should have picked it up time. because it was that weird bitch look. looked weird. Man. Yeah. <laughs> like, I could have sworn it looked like a woman. At one point, she looked like a pretty woman. And then the, another part, she looked really bad. Yeah. Which, I think I mean, there was a real girl. I, uh, yeah. And then they just, I think they, they changed it They did like a double later. switch. I think they changed it yeah. out later on to fool you. Because I could have sworn, I'm like, that's a pretty looking, pretty looking girl. Yeah. And then, and this... then there's another part you see and it looked really fucking heinous. How comes fucking Caitlyn Jenner? You know, and so, so there's a struggle. So there's, two, uh, there's no, there's two magicians named Kenny. <laughs> yes, because I was confused what's going. I thought that he was they were in cahoots with the magician. No, there was no he, the whole time the magician just like hates everybody. No. We all fell victim to Kenny's ruse. Yes. His, okay, we fell off, we fell victim to the ruse. Uh, his, <laughs> his cunning attempt to trick to us. trick us. Mm. Uh, <laughs> So, okay, oh, yeah. now they're talking about the stuff. I don't even know yeah, what they're but, talking about. Well, what they're happened? going back and forth. She's apologizing. He doesn't care. And then she, He asks for a kiss. He says, kiss me. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Because that's what she yeah. said to him exactly. during the prank. So she kisses so she him. kisses him. And once again, he gets the spins. Um, he freaks the fuck out. Conductor comes along with a fucking shovel. Spins him out. The door on the train, on the car, opens. Pew! Fucking hits him with like a fucking shovel. He goes flying yep. off. It just happens to be the bridge part of the tracks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hits the snow into the river. Gone forever. Yep. Conductor Goodbye. just says, no ticket, no ride. He didn't say that, but he should have said should've that. Should have said that. It would have been fucking cool. And the other guy should have said, diplomatic <laughs> credentials. Get off my train. Diplomatic <laughs> immunity. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. My, but, but oh, my coast. You don't want to go to South Africa? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have what she's having. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the end of Terror Train. Yay! AKA Terrible Train. Which is now what it was. Now, as far as Jamie okay. Lee Curtis horror movies go, it's at the bottom. Probably one of her worst ones. Yeah, she, she doesn't it's not like for being the Scream Queen, she doesn't really have that many horror movies under her belt. It's not like she's a fucking Lena Quigley who's got like thirty. She's not PJ um PJ Souls, who PJ really doesn't Souls. have a whole lot either. So it's like, no. but I mean, she was in a lot of horror movies really quickly. <clears throat> That's usually how you it works. You either, you're either in a lot of horror movies and move on yeah. to something better, or in a lot of horror movies and you go away yeah. forever. This one is about as good as probably Prom Night. It's probably about that level. I'd put okay. Halloween, Halloween 2, The Fog, and then maybe, yeah. you know, these other ones. And then just Resurrection is at the fucking If you like end. Revenge... 
revenge type of horror movie you could check out. It's Slaughter High. Yeah. Uh, I know what you did last summer. I guess it's kind of the same. Yeah, more same of a area. Nineties, two thousand, way later. Millennium. Uh, is April Fool kind of like that? April Fool's like a yeah. revenge thing yeah. too. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, yeah, though there's definitely other things. April I, Fool's? I, I would think April Fool's Day is a yeah. is probably better than this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. That was a um, movie. But this isn't a bad movie. There's I think cannons in we, it. Yeah, <laughs> he certainly is. <laughs> um, but with, if you're looking for something that you probably haven't seen, not a whole lot of people have seen this movie. Because mm. nobody really talks about it. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's. I've heard of it, but it's not exactly something that's like... No, it's not on the spectrum of, of no. you need to watch this movie. Yeah. Now, the price of the Scream Factory release would indicate that this might be a... What did you get it for? Movie. I don't remember what I paid for it. I've had it for a while. I've had it for over two years, probably. Uh, but I want to say this is 24 and up, somewhere yeah, around there. like $25 movie? Yeah, because... Well, this is the Blu-ray DVD version. Well, it's a version. Blu-ray combo, and it's released by Scream Factory that mm. puts out, like, uh, they'll restore the movie. They'll put extra content on it. Yep. Um... And they put out a lot of lesser known or cult style movies, but that's where you'll you go on Amazon. You'll find it if you got if there's still an Fye in your area, you'll find it. But they're gonna charge you thirty for it probably. In there. Uh-huh. Um, I'm sure you can get it on Laserdisc, uh, VHS probably your cheapest way to get it, and you could get it on regular DVD too. Uh, but definitely a better movie than Elves. <laughs> Not it- as easy to talk about. Elves was way easier to talk about. The shittier the movie, the more I have to say about it. This was just a movie that went the path of we got a uh, the, there's a conflict, there's a killer. It's, it's pretty simple stuff. Um, I don't think the movie's on YouTube for free. There's clips, yeah, of it. I can't find a full length movie. It's not a whole lot of uh, trailers. There's TV trailers. Spots. There's TV spots. I there's a, yeah. There's yeah. There's like. Large clips of different parts. I don't think the full length movies on here. Yeah, but you, if you want to check it out, you can get the idea on YouTube. There's Night Train to Terror. That's something else, though. And yeah, this is really just kind of clips. Here's one: Terror Train, All the Deaths. You can just watch that. Yeah, because that's pretty. You get and, the you, you know the, not a lot of spectacular deaths watch in, that this, one. in this movie. No, I mean, nothing. There's um, no, there's no Jason. Yeah, no. Jason Voorhees banging people with a, and sleeping in the sleeping bag against trees. Which I that's, love that. Kill. Like the ultimate, that's love like the that coolest one. one. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I would say like what's cool and unique about this movie is just that they're, they're on a moving train. It's an, it's an interesting situation. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah, and cause I mean how everything's like, you're in a house. You know, I mean you're in a haunted house. Yeah, you're at camp. <laughs> you're in your dreams. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, this is, oh, on a train. How many mystery train things are there? not many. No. A mystery train a thriller, I guess. There's strangers on the train by Alfred There's Hitchcock. There's a few. But that's not like this. It's I mean, something very different from yeah. the time, especially for like a slasher. Yeah. So, so uh, it's got that going for it. Which, which is, is nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gunga, galunga. Oh, we're dorks. I don't care. All right. All right. So this is a very special episode because we've got oh, some... What, what do we got? What's going oh, on? Oh, it is a, there is a full length movie. I found it. All right. Never mind. You can watch the whole movie. You need a website. All right. <laughs> you can you, watch the whole movie. And if you need a website, you can get one of those too. Um so today's a special day because we've got some mail. We got mail. But, Somebody um, sent us something. Not from a real fan, though. No, not from a fan. A, it is a fan. Well, he's also he's on, on the, show. the show. He's been on the show. He's also part of our so, fucking cast. Yeah, he's a he's a third mic sometimes yeah um and our friend of the show matt you'll remember him from the hots episode the hots video hots uh, uh it says fragility yes. on here. he was here when uh D- danny bonaducci went nuts um <laughs> it says fragility it does <laughs> it, maybe it's a bowl indeed <laughs> all right uh so could be a bowl alley <laughs> well, let's open it all right well we already kind of opened it yeah um, and do we want to, there's, there's a letter in there. Do we want to read, read the, the whole letter? Well, maybe she would read it. Let me look at it. We'll... You want to read it? Oh. 
Double sided. I don't know if we should read this whole thing. Let's see. Um, oh, but cry. it says, Dear Video Rangers, this is a congratulatory package for making it through 10 incredible and entertaining episodes so far. Keep up the great work. I hope to be a guest again in the near future. Oh, oh love, that's very love nice. to have you back, Matthew. The, the painting is for Mr. Dietz. I hope that he may display it for the Video Rangers YouTube channel. I will be painting all the characters in the coming months so you can put them all from Glass Joe to Mike Tyson on your back wall. That's nice. And there he is. All right. And there it is. That's Glass Glass Joe. Joe. That looks fucking cool, man. I'm I'm impressed. It's really nice. It is nice. That's a nice uh, addition. That's pretty cool. Nice addition. Can't wait to see. Thank you what, so much, Matthew. Yeah. Can't wait to see what Soda Popinski looks like. I, right? That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I think he'd look really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Uh, all right. Then we've got a Criterion movie. Do you see that in there? Um, which one is it? Uh, the criteria. <laughs> it's like it'll oh, say Criterion okay, Correction. It. The, What's it called? The Small Back Room. The Small Back Room. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to check that one out. That should be nice. Um. And then we've got Julian the Donkey Boy. Uh, now, this is for us to borrow and review on the show. We can do that. Yes, we can do that. Any movie called Julian the Donkey Boy, prom- I'm willing to talk promising. about. Uh, and this is a film by Harmony Corrine. Corrine. I, I always forget. Is he the one who did Kids? Yeah, he's Kids and Gummo. 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 Anybody who did Gummo, I'll... He does trash trash humpers. Trash humpers. Um, we might do that so one day. at some point we'll be doing Julian the Donkey Boy, and from my conversation with Matt, he would prefer to not be on this episode. No, I well, I have no idea what it's about. I'm no. not going to look up what it's about. I'll be co- totally going in blind. Yeah. Uh, you, have you? Do you know anything about the movie? Uh, I've heard of it. You've heard of it, but that's it. But I don't know anything about it. I don't know what okay. this is about. So this uh, um, be mind blowing. We don't know. <laughs> Anything by this nut job is usually yeah, it's strange. You know, Gummo was uh, yeah a fun ride. Yeah, when I saw that, love Gummo. What a fucking wacky it's, movie that it's is. Twisted. Um. Now, what else has he got here? Uh, he says uh, he'll pick this uh, pick it up next time he sees us. Uh-huh. Uh huh. All the success. My pen is dying, Matt. And it is dying. It is you can dying, see it fading yeah. out, which I think is just genius. Um, well, thank you so thank much, you. Matt. Thanks, Matt. We appreciate it. We really do. Um, you went all that trouble. I mean, you yeah. Spent, you spent money to yeah. mail it to us. So you spent like six eighty mail on that nice. fucking yeah, thing. So thank you for that. Nice. You didn't have to do that. You could have sent that fucking. You know, could have taken we'll a year. Start giving prizes out too. We will, I'll start. Whatever's in this room, I'll just start giving away. Yeah. Well, you got a Genesis in the box there. I'd keep that though. Don't Hold on give, for a little. Don't while. give it away. Let's see if it works. <laughs> okay, I gotta see if it works yeah. first. We'll we'll fuck with that. We'll get it. We'll get it working. That's pretty simple. You can get that working. Mm, it's I when think the, so. the I PlayStation think I the hopefully I think all the still wires works. For it. You, uh, I'm, I'm no, not sure a, if I have all the wires. I think they're in the box. Though. Chris found some stuff in his attic, and uh, he's got. Uh, Want to show it to everybody? We got a Sega Genesis. So. Covered in dust um, and with sports talk baseball on it. I lost my GameCube several years ago. It disappeared when I was moving out of Vanished. my mother's David house. David Copperfield made it disappear. I was moving out of my mother's house and for yeah, it disappeared. David Copperfield made it disappear. So That's I always ask my mom douchebag. if you can find this, I'd appreciate it. So recently, a few weeks ago, she found it in the attic, uh, filthy, filthy, dirty. Yeah, and it was accompanied. <laughs> By this. Sports Talk Baseball. Sports Talk was still in there. It was the last game I played, apparently. Which means so it's, it's really clean. Very dirty. By yeah. The inside my it's filthy. The GameCube was filthy. I got a I got a PlayStation. It's filthy. They're very, very dirty. <laughs> I still haven't cleaned them. We I might open it up and try to clean it out. Uh I gotta make sure I got all the wires for it. Otherwise it's just for nothing. No, because the wires are cheap, man. It's just going to make me cough. It's yeah. filthy dirty. No, we can... But I was excited to get my GameCube because I really want to play uh, Super Mario Baseball. Yeah. It's one of my favorite games. Much um, better than the Wii release. Which was still in the system too. Um, I'm, I'm hoping if I can't 
I gotta get the GameCube working. Hopefully that works too. But if I can't, I can play it on my Wii at least. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the memory card's not corrupt, and I still have my GameCube controller. And you got a bunch of GameCube games, right? You got like I got that, a bunch. You got that whole I Zelda got a bunch over there. there. Um, yeah, and I noticed but you have a lot of PlayStation. I games. highly recommend Super Mario uh, Baseball Baseball Stars. No, just Super baseball Mario Baseball Sluggers or something like that. Something, I think that's the shitty one that came yeah. out in the Wii. Yeah, the it's one been a while that, since yeah. I played it, but it's an awesome game. That was it it kind of plays like an old baseball game on Nintendo, but yeah. it's got it's but it's very different at the same time. Well, that's cool. So maybe we'll uh, we'll do do a video on that. Maybe possibly we'll see. Yeah, on the see get, Sega. See if we can get, get, get that working. working. It should work. I don't see why not. We'll see. Those things work. Yeah. They oh, last God. forever. I found a six-button controllers. Oh, awesome. for your uh, for Raspberry Pi? Oh, this is actually the Raspberry Pi one. I got them somewhere. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I know. I did see that. You have six-button Genesis controllers. You can play my Street Fighter 2 on there, too. Yeah. You know? Do you have your Street Fighter in there? No, it's in my... I have the games. The games are separate from the yep. system. Oh, all right. I have the games in one of these drawers. Oh, nice. But I, I got a bunch, so... I'm pretty psyched. It's pretty yeah. cool to have all this old shit. If anything, I'll clean it up. I mean, I'll just display it. Yeah. You know, we'll see. Yeah, because, I mean, you've got the Raspberry Pi. We got that now. But it's still, nice. there's nothing like the controller-wise. Yeah, just... I, I was playing Ghosts and Goblins last night. And this controller, this is I got this bu- Buffalo controller. It's not bad, but sometimes it kind of stuck yeah. on me, and I guess uh, so. It's not perfect. It'd be great if I had a, if they made them like the real good ones. Yeah, but uh, it's all right. But it's nothing. Nothing beats the original controllers. No, they no. really don't. They just feel better. Um, I have two NES style controllers and one Super Nintendo Super Nintendo controller for my my uh, Retro Pi. And it just doesn't feel the same. And then I have like yeah. the real shit, and it's just it just feels better in your hand. This D, the D the D the D pad kind of sticks a little bit sometimes. Yeah. I remember getting stuck, or you know, and I, and it caused me to die. But you know, it does the job. It's not terrible. Other games, if I felt it was good on for some reason, Ghosts and Goblins, it kind of didn't feel too good. Did you play you know, which Ghosts and Goblins did you play? I played the NES one. Yeah. Nice. Um, I remember play we. Didn't you have a plug and play Ghosts and Goblins? No. From years back, I could have sworn me and you played it one time. We beat it. Well, I had like it a for plug and play uh, kind of thing. I had Ghosts and Goblins on my Super Nintendo. Yeah, I'm probably thinking of something else. Yeah. Then. Maybe it was a Super Nintendo. I could have yeah. sworn it was a plug and play one. I wish I'd um, know what happened to all my Super Nintendo stuff. <laughs> I had a lot of it. They're missing. It sucks. Oh no, they're missing. But um, yeah, I all I've been I've been playing Song of the Deep. That's about it. Song of the Deep. Which is really fucking cool, man. Right. Really fucking cool. It's a nice 2D Metroidvania style uh-huh. fucking game. And you just kind of like... First game in a while where I actually just sat there and I just... You kind of just explore the area that you're in. Mm-hmm. Um, and just figure stuff out by... Con- you know, just by trying different mm-hmm. things. Kind of... I don't want to... Kind of like a Zelda, but not really... You know what I mean? Well, yeah, it's like 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 Metroidvania. Yeah, though. yeah. If that didn't explain oh. it enough, <laughs> yeah. I see but it's going. really cool. I like how it's narrated. Um, What's that on uh, Xbox? Xbox, PlayStation Four yeah. has it. Um, I don't know if they released it on the the 360 or the three. I think because it's new 2016, mm-hmm. so I don't know. Uh, but it's actually the game that uh, GameStop uh, helped distribute. Oh, produce. good old GameStop. Um, they apparently didn't do well, and it doesn't have good reviews. But you like it? I like it. I don't okay, know what people cool. are talking about. Like, That's not, so um, you it's like an, it. you know what it is, man. It's an old style game, mm-hmm. and I have a feeling that most kids today, like, because I I actually gave it once I got give it, it a shot. I gave I bought it, and I really liked it, and uh, then I ended up buying it for my nephew for Christmas. And he likes it, but he's like, it's kind of hard, and it's really kind of not. You know, it's just like mm. you just have to keep playing. You gotta be more persistent. Yeah, they, they don't have the you the, just have, they don't yeah. have the patience. No, because this is a game where, it, eventually, if you are stuck for long enough, it might give you a hint. Uh-huh. But it's not like everybody. Uh, every game you play now, there's an arrow telling you where to walk. Yeah, they hold your hand. Yeah, on these new, newer so, games, they really do. It's kind of um, cool. It's a nice little adventure. Under under the sea adventure. <laughs> under the sea. Yep. Almost almost got me to sing that. 
really close. Almost, almost. So, yeah, that's it. Episode 11. All right. Terror Train. And no one was smoking in this movie. No. Amazingly. That's what, well, it was implied that people were smoking weed, but I didn't see True, anybody smoking cigarettes. It, and I didn't see Dan Haggerty anywhere. No, no. <laughs> that train would have lit up on fire. Unless Dan, Dan Haggerty, Haggerty was the one powering the train. I want. I, I just want Dan Haggerty in every shitty movie. As yeah, as the character, because he was really just like the best part of Elves, man. We gotta find. I loved me some we gotta Dan find Haggerty. another Dan Haggerty movie. Yeah. to do. I know, man. I really enjoyed Dan Haggerty. <laughs> that was great. It was just well, we, fun. Um, what fun is watching he, him. Uh, what is he in? He's in the Life and Times of Grizzly Adams. That's what it, the t- yeah. the television show. Yeah. So we can check that out. I'm sure there's a <laughs> Christmas episode of Dan Haggerty. <laughs> Christmas special yeah, of fucking Grizzly Adams. Um, <laughs> yeah. But all uh, right. Um, I think that should do it that's today. That's it. I think all that's right. it. Because I, I got nothing. All right. Uh, thanks again, Matt. Yeah. Appreciate thank you, it. Matt. Apparently, this is uh, from Paris, France. Yeah. This is in the back. Paris, is it really? Oh. That's where it was painted in France. Isn't he a, a regular fucking. Uh, He's got a little gang. One of those guy. guys that paint. <laughs> One of those guys. One of those guys that paint. A little All right. Renaissance I'll, guy. I'll treasure it forever. You damn well better. I will. Thank if, you so much. If that's I not there it. next week. I'm gonna be furious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and that's uh, that's a wrap. That's that's a wrap. <laughs> always always wanted to say that. All right, everybody. And until books. next time. Put it in the books. If you see a bad movie, we're ready to believe you. <laughs> Uh, I need Ghostbuster music to start playing now. <laughs> yeah, something cheesy. <laughs> Alright, bye bye. I saw your picture in the yearbook. I never knew you liked magic. I watched you tonight. You liked him. Oh. Kenny, you're better than he is. I'm sure you're better than he is. I am. He didn't know how to cut a woman. You don't have to do this. Don't.